Little You by Gregory William. Read by me, Matt Lucas. When we are small, our dreams are big. When nurses we will be. When firemen and astronauts are futures that we see. When being fairy princesses are no more tale than fable. We'll slay those dragons when we're big, when we are strong and able. When we return from work each night, we'll have dessert for dinner. Our bedtime will be after ten, and we will be the winner. We'll have one hundred puppies, and wish happiness for all. Our lives will be fantastic. These are dreams we have when small. But we grow old and wiser, so our dreams are often quashed. We grow up, find adult jobs, and dreaming hands are washed. Our dreams become unreachable. How will we pay our rent? How will we save up every month when every penny's spent? With unexpected council tax and multiplying bills, just juggling them all will have you running for the hills. We find ourselves concerned with fluctuations in our weight, and if we're out of toilet roll or if we've closed the gate. Who wrote the book that tells us that we can't do what we crave? Sure, play within the rules of life, but try to misbehave. Pet dogs with gay abandon while you have a second slice. And why not make decisions on the rolling of a dice? Laugh with babies on the bus. Speak freely to your cat. Make up another language and speak to friends in that. Do what little you once craved and have dessert for dinner. If that's what makes you happy, you won't wish that you were thinner. Write poetry, sing Disney songs, buy soaps that smell like sweets. Wear clothes you love and comfy shoes and boogie in the streets. Don't stay behind that desk you hate. Don't live life feeling blue. Why sit and wait for happiness? Don't let down little you. Remember this forevermore when life becomes bereft. Inside each grown-up person is a child that never left.